right, Dr. Matt here talking about overcoming autoimmunity and the players that can really support this overcoming. Uh, so not only are food choices a big deal, we've talked about that in the last couple of videos, but um, there's something that might be an even bigger deal, or maybe not an, a bigger deal, but um, really helps food help us. And uh, that's taking the opportunity, taking the time to rest our body. And I'm not talking about sleep here, though sleep is vital. Um, I'm talking about fasting. Yes, just what we wanted to hear, right? Um, so there's something called intermittent fasting or um, restricted time or time restricted eating, which may be a, a, a easier way for us to think about this, but these can have huge value in helping us overcome disease and dysfunction and autoimmunity. So fasting, uh, entails basically consuming food, um, or I should say time restricted feeding entails consuming food in a, a very specific window of time. So like maybe, uh, six hours in the day or eight hours of the day you eat food and the other 16 to 18 hours of the day you fast, you know, you just consume, uh, water during that time frame. Or I mean, some people could say you consume tea or coffee and stuff, but you know, if you have an autoimmune condition, you probably want to just consume water. So you're, you're make, taking full advantage across the board, not stimulating any part of your nervous system uh, or uh, autonomic nervous system. You're not putting yourself in any kind of fight or flight response by consuming a lot of coffees or black teas or green teas or um, oolong teas in, uh, in the fasted state. Uh, but this fasting, it really does have a, a marked regeneration effect on your body. And uh, you know, the more consistently you do it, the more consistent regeneration you get. And if you're continually regenerating and, and re, re, uh, invigorating your cells and, and getting rid of cells that are otherwise uh, um, senescent or, or they're asleep or, or they're, they're no longer ca capable of performing optimally, uh, the chance of you experiencing health and vitality and overcoming autoimmunity is very high. Um, otherwise, you're, uh, you know, you're gonna have these, continually have these same old, you know, old cells that um, are performing the same old task of promoting an autoimmune response. So uh, like I was mentioning, fasting, it literally can promote this recycling and elimination of what we call defunct or, or essentially cells that aren't very uh, efficient anymore. Um, and it can shift your stem cell production uh, of your immune system from a, a dormant state, kind of like a sleep state, to like this active state where um, your stem cells are really literally renewing um, your immune system. So fasting is, uh, you know, it's like an oil change. You know, we got to do it in our car. And, you know, you de most times when you go get your oil change in the car, you don't even realize, you know, nothing's going on yet. But you keep doing that oil change every 5,000 miles or whatever so that nothing ever goes wrong related to oil and, and, and the uh, lubrication uh, of your car. Same thing goes with uh, fasting. You know, you you do it once, you're probably not gonna notice anything. You do it twice, maybe not notice anything. But you know, after you've been doing something like this for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 80, 100 times, you've been doing it for a year of this intermittent fasting um, or more. Uh, maybe even throwing in some 24 hour, 48, 48 hour fast here and there. Um, the renewal that's gonna be happening in your digestive system, in your nervous system, in your cardiovascular system, in your immune system, um, you're gonna start seeing it manifest. Uh, there's just no way it can't manifest. So take the time, take the opportunity to um, rejuvenate your immune system. Uh, you know, it's so dynamic, it's working overtime, day after day, it's putting in long hours. Um, and uh, as I'm sure you're aware, there's massive stimulation from all kinds of external sources um, on your immune system day after day after day. So any way we can de decrease this overall sensitization of life upon us, um, it's to our betterment. And, and fasting um, is a fantastic way of doing that. Next one coming up.